Six years have passed since that horrendous incident. I received special training via a secret organization working under the direct control of the president. I was to assume the responsibility of protecting the new president's family. Cornel, why am I the one who always gets the short end of the stick? Yo, who are you really? Come on and tell us. You are a long way from home, cowboy. You have my sympathies. Guess that's a local's way of breaking the ice. Anyway, you know what this is all about. My assignment is to search for the president's missing daughter. What? All by yourself? <laughs> I'm sure you boys didn't just tag along so we could sing Kumbaya together at some Boy Scout bonfire. Then again, maybe you did. <laughs> oh, you crazy American. It's a direct order from the chief himself. I tell you, it's no picnic. I'm counting on you guys. It was right before I was to take on my duties of protecting the president's daughter when she was abducted. That's the ultimate reason I'm in this lonely and rural part of Europe. According to our intelligence, there's reliable information about a sighting of a girl that looks very similar to the president's daughter. Apparently, she's being withheld by some unidentified group of people. Who would have thought that my first job would have been a rescue mission? Freezing. So cold all of a sudden. Eh, must be my imagination. Sorry it took so long. Just up ahead is the village. I'll go and have a look around. Yeah, we'll stay and watch that car. Don't want to get any parking tickets. Right. Parking tickets. Good luck. Jeez. Who are these guys? Did you say something? Leon, I hope you can hear me. I'm Ingrid Hunnigan. I'll be your support on this mission. Loud and clear. Somehow I thought you'd be a little older. So the subject's name's Ashley Graham, right? That's right. She's the daughter of the president. So try to behave yourself, okay? <laughs> Whoever this group is, they sure picked the wrong girl to kidnap. I'll try to find some more information on my end as well. Good. Talk to you later. Leon out.
in my restless dreams. I see that town, Silent Hill. You promised you'd take me there again someday, but you never did. Well, I'm alone there now, in our special place, waiting for you. got a letter. The name on the envelope said, Mary. My wife's name. It's ridiculous. Couldn't possibly be true. That's what I keep telling myself. A dead person can't write a letter. Mary died of that damn disease three years ago. So then, why am I looking for her? Our special place. What could she mean? This whole town was our special place. Does she mean the park on the lake? We spent the whole day there. Just the two of us, staring at the water. How you been, Carl? How's your wonderful family? I'm here to bury my moms. You know that. Yeah, I guess I do. So what else you got shaking, Carl? Nothing. I live in Liberty City now. I'm clean. Legit. Nah, you ain't never been clean, Carl. Well, what do we got here? This is a weapon, Officer Pulaski, that was used to gun down a police officer not ten minutes ago. Officer Pendleberry. A fine man, I might add. You work fast, nigga. You know I just got off the plane. Well, that's a good thing we found you and retrieved the murder weapon. That ain't my gun. Don't bullshit me, Carl. Yeah, don't bullshit him, Carl. What the fuck you want from me this time? When we want you, we'll find you. In the meantime, try not to gun down any more officers of the law. <laughs> Y'all can't leave me here? This ball is country. I thought you said you was innocent, Carl. You don't bang. This is car 58. See you around like a donut, what? Carl. <laughs> Officer Pendlebury's down. We'll be right over here, Hernandez. Oh, shit. Here we go again. Worst place in the world. Rolling Heights Baller Country. And I ain't represented Grove Street in five years. But the ballers won't give a shit. no hope. And Kratos cast himself from the highest mountain in all of Greece. After ten years of suffering, ten years of endless nightmares, it would finally come to an end. Death would be his escape from madness. But it had not always been this way. Kratos had once been a champion of the gods. Oh, beast! I will send you back to the depths of Hades!
became the new god of war. However, Kratos soon found himself alone on Olympus, shunned by his fellow gods. But Kratos had no need for the love of petty gods. He had found a new family in the warriors of Sparta, gaining solace from his past and calling to battle. My lord, Kratos! Another city is ready to fall! Soon all shall know the glory of Sparta! Enough, Kratos! With every city you destroy, the wrath of Olympus grows. Soon I will no longer be able to protect you. I need no protection. Do not forget that it was I who made you a god, Ghost of Sparta. Do not turn your back on me. I owe you nothing. Then you leave me no choice. Kratos had turned the pain of his memories into hatred. Hatred for the gods who had refused to free him from the nightmares of his past deeds. And so he went to Rhodes to deliver the final blow to the besieged city. You will stop! 